Oh, my head. Oh no, Chime! Huh? She's like right there in between them! Chime assesses the situation, doing her best to ignore her pounding headache. Her body is bound by steel wires. Huh? Oh no. So, you're awake. Oh shit. There are a lot of things I want to ask you. Uh. Oh my gosh. She went outside of the castle so confidently too. Huh? How? Uh. Did you just get punched by Chatterbox and that's the best sound that you can say? Ah! That's to show you you're not dreaming. This is very real. Um... <laughs> oh, looks like the poor thing is frightened. Chatterbox, you should know violence is never the answer. <laughs> There's two of you? How? That's not what I'd be worrying about right now. If I. Ah! Ah! Hmm. Oh no, they're torturing her. Oh! Ah! <coughs> Didn't you just say violence wasn't the answer? My apologies. I got carried away. Oh, she evil. Evil, evil. I admire your gumption, but you're also reckless. Even though we caught you before you infiltrated our ranks, you got far. I applaud you for that. The reason we took you alive is simple. We have some questions to ask. So, if you'd be so kind, could you please answer a few questions? Oh my gosh. I'd like to say that if you do that for me... Mm. What? What's she gonna do? That I'll spare your life. But I wouldn't be telling the truth. And I've never been a good liar. Oh my gosh, and the way she says it too! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's getting spicy! Is there anyone else in the castle besides you? It's funny because she knows that. D do you think I'll tell you? Oh no, she's pulling out the blade thingy on her tail. But Huh? Oh my gosh, did she just cut off something? Damn. Miss, I was hoping to lop your head off your shoulders. But apparently my aim isn't what it used to be. Oh well. You should be able to hear just fine with one ear, <gasps> shouldn't you? She got over here! What a bitch! Yeah. No! I mean, I think Chime is such a troll character. For her to be receiving torture from these two, Oh my gosh! Not Chime! Well, I wouldn't want that on anyone, but still! I'll ask again. Is there anyone else in the castle besides you? Ugh. Just get it over with and kill me! Oh no, Chime, no! The honor kill. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you anything! Oh no! Hmm. Chatterbox. This isn't as much fun as I imagined it would be. You say that, but your face says otherwise. Ooh, evil. You don't even care what it has to say, do you? You just want to play with her. All right. Guilty as charged. Oh, she... is she bad? That's right. I'm not really interested in what's inside that castle. Finding that out will be simple enough. All I have to do is go down there myself to find out. I mean, true. You want to know why I'm doing this to you? I mean, if a heretic can get inside the Ark, what's stopping them from flying over 
a simple wall. I want to see you break. To see you sell your friends down the river. Oh, rotten to the core. Is she gonna be a part of the rehabilitation? Because I'll be honest, I would totally want her as a unit. But man, imagine trying to con trying to command her. Ooh. Unfortunately, it seems you aren't going to be very cooperative in that regard. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. Speak. What is inside that castle? What is inside the cold storage? What's so important that it's making you all dig your heels in and refuse to retreat? Has anyone told you that your breath stinks? You can borrow one of my toothbrushes if you need to. <laughs> Chime, being all cheeky. Oh, she's gonna get punched. When did Marion join you? What? How do you know that name? He just called out the cold storage. So, chances are he probably knows a lot more. Answer me. Uh, hmm, this is getting tedious. <sighs> Swoosh. <gasps> a long, sharp needle appears in Chatterbox's hand. Do you know what this is? Oh, he's going to implant her? Just like they did to Marion? It's a device intended to induce corruption. Huh? One prick from this and you'll answer to the raptures entirely. Would you like to know a secret? You probably thought that once corruption occurs, your mind would be destroyed. But that's not true. In reality, your consciousness remains intact. Oh. However, you have no control over what you say or do. So, so when when they corrupted Marion, Marion was inside there the whole time, just going along with whatever Modernia did. It's like you are outside yourself, looking in, unable to exert any influence over your own body, Bye. and in the end, you die by your comrades' hands. All throughout the entire process, you are painfully conscious of everything. Whoa! Did they ever reveal that before? This is a huge reveal. Sounds like a miserable experience, does it not? Answer my question, and I won't subject you to such a torturous fate. I think she just wants to be killed. Uh, yeah, your highness! Still mulling it over? Then I'll change the terms of the deal. If you answer, I'll spare your life. But you're not. You can return to your friends and fight us once more, or run away. You'll spare me? Yes. Don't lie to me. You are no threat to us. I think Chime's voice actor has to step it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's why we can spare you. You'll be powerless to stop us anyway. There could be dozens of you, and you still wouldn't pose the slightest threat. <laughs> oh, man. This is a form of torture. So out with it. You're out of options. <sighs> Just say the words and you can live. No, Chime, don't break. Don't break, Chime. Dealing with the dealing with the aftermath of your betrayal is probably going to be worse than death. I mean, I mean for her character. I don't know what twisted sense of duty you've conjured up in your mind, but no mission is worth throwing your life away for. My mission. Such things are meaningless. No one will ever recognize you for your accomplishments or even remember you. 
just give up and abandon it. So what's Chime gonna do? What's Chime gonna do? Uh, your Highness. No, she's not gonna crack. My king, forgive me. No! <sighs> I'm leaving. <gasps> Chime! What? Don't play with me. You filthy bastards! I am a subject of the kingdom and the king's proud royal aid. My mission is to bring light and glory to the entire kingdom and to live for the king. I would never abandon my mission. Only filthy turncoats like you would even consider such a heinous act. Okay, okay, okay. I would never betray my king. I would never stoop so low as scum like you, who don't know the first thing about pride or nobility. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, oh shit. What's gonna happen now? The only words I have for you are curses and insults. <laughs> yeah, get him, Chime. So go ahead and do your worst. Is she gonna get corrupted? Kill me. Corrupt me. If my king finds out something has happened to me, she'll chase you to the ends of the earth. She will have her revenge and see to it that your corpses hang at the city gates for the next hundred years. King. Good final Did words. Did you say king? That's right. My life's purpose is to serve and worship my king. She is far stronger and nobler than any of you could possibly imagine. So stand aside or prepare to be mowed down. For my king will come here personally to take your heads as a trophy. I don't think our interrogation is going as planned. <laughs> I just noticed that she has this kind of globe into their hair. It's so good. What a good design. You are an obstinate fool who has been blinded by your mission. <sighs> Despite that, I am envious of you. What do you intend to do, Crown? Oh yeah, so they, they just found out that Chime got captured. I'm going to save Chime. The other side knows that she snuck in. We have to save her. Okay. You can't do it alone. These are heretics we're talking about. Even for you, that's... I must protect my subjects. Are we about to see the true strength of Crown right now? I mean, I think it's kind of hinted at that she's like a badass. Like she seems silly at first, but she's actually like super buff. And it would only make sense to bring Marion since she was a former heretic. No matter what, let me go with you. Oh no, everyone's going. <laughs> Very well, I'll go as well. <laughs> no, you two stay here and protect the kingdom. There could be another attack. Save her and come right back. Avoid any unnecessary confrontations. Okay. I was expecting her to argue a little bit more, but she's being very, uh, very reasonable. All right, I promise. From. All right, here comes the horsey. Trom, the mighty steed composed of steel, gallops towards Crown and stops in front of her. What? T Taba? It, it still exists? Huh? Wait, she recognizes the horse? Damn, we're even getting a backstory on the horse! Alright, I'll be off. Get down! <gasps> oh no. Swoosh! Crash. A steel box flies over the castle wall and lands in front of Crown. Is this gonna be a seven situation? What's in the box? What's in the box? In a tumultuous swirl of dust, the steel box lands with a crash, bounces a few times, and eventually comes to a stop. What is this thing? Oh no. A box? Oh no. Hmm. Talos, can you scan this? Chad, I'm scared. Affirmative. Scanning the contents and determining the risk factor. Crown tentatively approaches the steel box. Hmm. Crown, step back. It's dangerous. Scan completed. Hmm. 
What is it? No dangerous materials present. However, I suggest not opening it. <gasps> oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is that Chime? Did they shred up Chime and put her in a box? Hmm. Crown lifts up the steel box. <gasps> oh my gosh. She opened it. Oh my gosh. She then proceeds to slowly open the lid. No! Hmm. Hmm. Chime. I think that's her head. Crown charges through the enemy lines. All raptures in her path are either sent flying, pierced by her spear, or trampled under Trom... Trom's... Uh, hooves. Onward, Trom. With greater haste. Oh, she's going on rampage. Trom increases its speed. The raptors are completely unable to stop Crown. As Crown continues to charge forward, she eventually spo spots a hill. There, two figures stand tall atop the hill. They've chosen a spot where they can easily be noticed. Oh, is Trom that horse that we're talking tech talking about? Yeah, that's this is it right here. We get to actually see it. The question is, can that be ascribed to confidence or arrogance? Hmm. She seems rather calm considering her her loyal servant just got gutted. In Davilia and Chatterbox gaze upon the path. Crown carves as she slices her way through the raptors in front of the castle. Given her current speed and direction, it is clear that whoever it is will reach them very soon. I knew she would come. Oh. Evil! <laughs> is that the king? I believe so. But in name only. Damn. Such impulsiveness. Rushing in as soon as we set out the bait. <laughs> now, there are only two remaining in the castle. They're about to go in? I'll go. Oh, snap. All right. Very well. Come back once you've satiated your curiosity. As for me, I want to have some time to play with this so-called king. Our last plaything didn't satisfy me at all. That's Chime they're talking about. Fine. Do as you please. Likewise. Chatterbox takes off running, disappearing into the distance. And Davilia glares at Crown, who is rapidly closing the distance between them. Oh, they're about to face off right now. <laughs> Whoa! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. There she is right there. What a view. I wonder what your expression will be when you see what I've done, dear comrade. Ooh. What will be the first words out of your mouth? What emotions will you reveal? Crown continues her relentless charge. It's a little distracting, I'll be honest. <laughs> once they are once they are close enough to verify who the other is, Indibilia grins gleefully. Hello there. I'm the one who took your friends luck. Real infects. Oh f There it is! Swords clash! Crash! Oh she got hurt! Charging forward at full speed, Crown slams her spear into Indivilia. Indivilia is thrown back and tumbles on the ground several times before finally coming to a stop. Girl! Oh my gosh, she was so confident earlier to get thrown over by some mere Nike. Well, not mere, she is a pilgrim. But still! This is a heretic we're talking about. Crown frantically scans the area and finds Chime lying limply on the ground. <sighs> Oh, okay. No! Chime! 
Oh, I guess they. This is a flashback to them seeing the box. Who would do such a thing? What are we gonna do now? Oh no, she's crying. I mean, shoot. I'm assuming that's her head. We haven't. I, I guess they haven't revealed it yet. Chime. Chime is dead. Oh my gosh. No. I. Did they really choose this event to kill her off? That's insane! I mean, I was it's not like I was the biggest fan of Chime, but still... What a way to go! This is kind of growing on me. <sighs> I'm going to face the enemy. I'm going with you. No, I'll go alone. It's faster that way. <laughs> no, I gotta go faster. Faster? What do you mean? I will bring back Chime's body. Okay, so it was her head. Kilo. <laughs> oh no. Thinking about her experience since coming to this castle has been traumatizing in so many ways. And now to see the head of Anike. Kilo. What? Yes? You know as well as I that she's not dead yet. Okay, okay. Still, th there's no repair center here. We we don't have the proper equipment to help her. It's not over yet. I'm trusting you to take good care of her. Okay. <sighs> I mean, Talos has this, like, crazy 3D printer. Maybe they could feed her body <laughs> into the 3D printer and print her back out again. The incision that separated her head from her body is very clean. It is surmisable that an ultrasonic blade of some type was used on her. Why are you mentioning that now? Because if proper sutures are given, she can potentially still be revived. Ooh. So long as reconnecting the nerve sensors and power sources, she should be fine. And I can do it. Dang, this robot can do everything. AI is taking over the world, guys. Talos. My backpack can also act as a brain shelter. You can put Chime there. Okay, okay. I thought they were gonna let that linger a little bit, but I mean, it looks like there there's a plan of attack. I mean, damn though, that scene. It is only meant for emergency use, however, so it can only provide storage for a limited time. Okay, okay, time limit, we get it. For how long? In light of Chime's current condition, a maximum of one hour from now. Oh my gosh. One, you have one hour to kill the boss and save your friend. That's enough. I'll be right back. Crown mounts Trom and sets <sighs> off. Oh no, why does she have dead eyes? The crown is, is so calm. Is she about to go nuts? Meanwhile, I'm so flustered. Why can't I ever control my emotions? Damn it. Come? Is that what she looks like to you? Oh, maybe she's scared? That... That hurt. Are they trying to emphasize that it's like she's like going psycho crazy raging right now? Such speed. I thought you'd be better at dodging. <laughs> Call out. Are you here for revenge? Sadly. <laughs> You don't stand a chance. I just got pummeled right now. I don't think you should be talking. I won't lose. Because I won't fight. Crown picks up Chime and places her atop Trom. What? What do you hope to achieve by taking her back? The only good it'll do you is being able to hold a proper funeral. Oh. It took ten minutes to get here. And five minutes have passed since I arrived. Really? Up to an hour. I still have time. Uh, uh. Huh? Crash. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crown thrusts her spear into the fallen Indivilia. Damn! She's like... She means business. She's not messing around. Trom. Trom rears up its hind legs and starts to trample on the collapsed into Bilia. <laughs> She's like making quick work of it. I'm a, I'm on a schedule, lady. I just need to kill you right now. Crack. <laughs> oh my 
gosh. She was so confident earlier. <laughs> that should do the job. I feel much better. Time to go. <laughs> Mark my words. I will destroy everything you hold dear. Oh no, she should she just finish her off. Take off her head. Maybe even take the head back so that there's no way to revive her. You can't take anything from me. For I have nothing. Crown gallops off astride Trom. Hmm. Okay. Let's go to the field right now. Let's see what it looks like. Are we on, are we under siege? 